Hey, it's James Erickson from SayHiJames.com and today I'm going to show you how to decipher the stats on your WordPress blog. It's 30 videos in 30 days. Today is day number 27. Only three more days left after this. Today we're going to talk about the statistics that you capture and whether it be Google Analytics or the WordPress.com stats plugin like I use here. I'm actually using both of those simultaneously. You need to know, you need to not only monitor what you do, but you need to know what to do with it when you decipher it, when you actually go in and do some digging and uh, you know, look at the stats. What do you do with that information? So here we are at my WordPress blog. I'm gonna go ahead and log in here real quick. And I'll take you to my actual stats dashboard and I'll show you some of the key information. So. We'll click on site stats. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that information come the future. It's really starting to define or look like it's going to define a future project for me, which is pretty exciting. So here's the stats dashboard, and you can see that it has all of these days of the past uh, 30 days, I guess, since I installed the plugin. And it tells me exactly how many viewers are on each day. So you can see, first, first thing I want to point out is this big spike here. And the big spike is because there were a few people on Twitter that retweeted the video I did that day. And that can mean two things. Number one, it's kind of a moot point because uh, it, it does it's not gonna play well with the other with the other information. Although it's not gonna play well with the other videos, so it's obviously skewed because it's been retweeted. Although if I found a good blog post that has been retweeted that many times to get four times the amount of views as any other one that may say something about the content of that post. Maybe it was well sought after, maybe it was a good video. Um, you know, there's all kinds of things that it could say about that post. So I'll take a good look at that post and see kind of what the YouTube comments are, see what some of my comments were, and see about providing more of that kind of stuff. Um, next thing we'll do is we'll go to over here to top posts and pages, and I'm gonna click on that. And it's gonna take us to a little screen that will let us further decipher that information. Up here at the top it says summarize and I want to see what my most clicked on blog posts or my most viewed posts are. So I can click on all time and it's going to bring me up this screen that tells me exactly how many people have been to each one of these posts. Now the numbers are a little weird because it doesn't count the people that have read the post on my homepage or watched the video on my homepage. It only counts the people that go to that specific page but still it gives me a very good idea of what kind of information people are looking for, what kind of information or clicks that I'm getting from outside to send people the information here. And like honestly I can see here that three out of the top five videos that I have are about WordPress and blogging. So that seems to be a hot topic and seems to be one that everybody likes to read about. It's one of the reasons why I decided to create this about my blog. So that gives me an idea of maybe in the future I need to to start doing some more blogging posts, some more posts about what I do when I blog or what kind of plugins to use, things like that. And that will you know, make a big impact. That will have more people searching me out for, for WordPress and blogging type information. So it'll kind of niche me a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and return to the stats. I'm gonna show you one more thing. Uh, the first thing I wanna show you was the big spike. Obviously I talked about that, top posts and pages. And now we're gonna click on refers over here. And what refers does is it shows you how all that traffic has come to your blog. And this is very important because it will show you what the biggest sources of traffic for your blog are. Obviously Twitter is the biggest source of mine. That's where I post many of my videos. And twitter.com slash say hi James is my personal Twitter account. So, but then I look down below here and I've got twitter.com slash LKR. What's up Laura? Uh, thanks so much for sending views to my blog. Um, but I've got other things like Owly, Hootsuite, um, Aaron Blasky, Nina Bernard, um, you know, it just shows me, you know, there's some Facebook.com down here. It will tell me if I'm getting a lot of views, like I've gotten eight from alphainventions.com. So I need to go look at Alpha Inventions and say, is this something that would benefit me in the future? Do I need to figure out how to maybe advertise on this network? Do I need to cultivate a relationship? Like with LKR, if she sent five, you know, do I need to cultivate a relationship with her and say, hey, how can I help you provide more value to your customers or clients? Um, you know, basically that's going to run it all down. You can really see the long tail effect here, 50, 19, 8, 5, and a bunch of ones at the bottom, but those ones add up, you know, there's quite a few there. So 
That's WordPress.com stats plugin, and that's how I would run down just a quick overview of how I would look at my stats, and I'm basically doing this now to try and figure out where the next step is. If you like something or want to hear more about something in the next three days, guys, post a comment right below. Uh, I read every single one of them, all you know, five or ten of them, however many there are. They're not very many. But if you like what's going on, you want to see more of something, let me know. So this is James Erickson, 30 videos in 30 days. Today was day number 27. Only three more days left. See you later, guys.